Welcome to the Modolithics licensing setup video. In this video, we'll go over the different types of licenses that Modolithics offers. We'll explain the installation process for each one, and we'll get into troubleshooting. We'll also discuss our roaming license, which is a special add-on for floating and cloud licenses. So one type of license that Modolithics offers is a node-locked license in which licenses are tied to a single user of a particular computer. We also offer dongle-locked licenses. With a dongle-locked license, a single license is shared using a hardware lock. Licenses are tied to a USB dongle key. Also, the dongle must be RLM compatible. The dongle hardware is available for purchase. Floating licenses are provided as well. Various options are available. A floating license allows for shared usage of one or more licenses over a network within a defined area. Access to the server is required in order to use the license. Another option is a cloud license. A cloud license is similar to a floating license. However, cloud licenses eliminate the need for IT overhead to update and maintain the license server, manage upgrades, add new seats, etc. Instead, Modolithics handles all license administrative activities. Client license configuration simply involves saving a file. The client configuration is done once, and then all licensing updates are handled in the cloud. Finally, we also offer roaming licenses. A roaming license can be added to a cloud or floating license for users who need to travel outside the defined licensing area or go off the network. A user checks out a license from the license pool for a specified amount of time. The license is unavailable until the user checks the license back in or the time expires. Before setting up the license, you'll need to run the installer file. The installer file can be obtained by logging into your account on the Modolithics website. After logging in, click My Downloads to access the installer file. If you don't have an installer file on your account, contact support at modolithics.com. Now, we'll go over the installation process for the different licenses. We'll begin with the node locked license. Node locked licenses are the easiest to install. A license file is emailed to the user. You then simply place the license file in the C Modolithics license folder. This folder is automatically created after installing the Modolithics library. Installing a dongle locked license requires a license file and a USB dongle. Again, the license file is emailed to the user. And again, you simply place the license file in the C Modolithics license folder. The license can be saved on multiple computers. After connecting the USB dongle, just allow the device driver to be automatically installed if you're using Windows. If you're using Linux, download and install the driver from the SafeNet website. For floating licenses, the installation process requires an RLM license server. For Windows, several files are included with the Modolithics library installation for the RLM license server. These files are rlm.exe, modolithic.set, rlmutil.exe, and an RLM license administration PDF file. You'll also need a Modolithics license file. For Linux, several files are again included with the Modolithics library installation for the RLM license server. These files are RLM, modolithic.set, rlmstart.sh, rlmutil, and an RLM license administration PDF file. Again, you'll also need a Modolithics license file. By default, the floating license you receive from Modolithics uses the server name this underscore host. 
In addition, the default RLM license server port is 5053. To configure the license file, you need to change this underscore host in the server line to the host name of the license server. You can set the RLM port number by adding the desired port number to the end of the server line. Here, as an example, you can see the RLM port number is set to 21,000. You can also set the ISV or vendor port number. It's recommended to do this if you're using a firewall. The port number can actually change on a restart if not specified. To set the port number, add port, equal sign, and then the desired port number at the end of the vendor line. Shown here is an example in which the ISV port number is set to 5100. Now we'll discuss server configuration. The RLM license server must be started from the command line. When you open the command prompt window, make sure you start it as an administrator. Change the directory to the folder with the license server files. You can then run the RLM command with several arguments. Hyphen C allows you to set the search path for the license file. And this overrides the RLM underscore license environment variable. Hyphen D log lets you set the path for the server debug log. In addition, hyphen install underscore service allows you to add the RLM license server as a Windows service, while the hyphen service underscore name argument lets you specify the name of the Windows service. When using Linux, server configuration involves editing the RLM start sh script file. There, you can configure five variables for your specific installation. One of them is RLM user, which is the user that will run the RLM service. The other variables allow you to set the paths of the RLM executable, the RLM util executable, the license file, and the debug log. Also, the RLM start .sh file can be added to the server startup by using the start argument. For the client configuration, you can set the monolithic underscore license environment variable to identify the port and host name of the license server. Please be aware that the monolithic underscore license environment variable is case sensitive on Linux. The value includes the license server port number and the license server's host name or IP address. Now we'll discuss the installation process for cloud licenses. With cloud licensing, an external license server is used. Modelytics will email a license file to the user. You then simply place the license file in the C Modelytics license folder. You also need to open the port set in the license file in the firewall. Of course, it may be necessary to troubleshoot license issues. For this reason, a license diagnostic is included with the library installation. If you're using Windows, you can find this in the C Modelytics License RLM Diagnostics folder. The diagnostic script file is called runme.bat. If you're using Linux, you can find the license diagnostic in the appropriate folder shown here. The diagnostic script file is called runme.sh. Running the diagnostic script file will prompt you to choose the specified license type. You'll then have to enter a license feature from the license file. An mdlx.log file will then be created. You can email this file to support at modelytics.com. Finally, a roaming license is a special add-on for floating and cloud licenses. With a roaming license, users can check out a license for an extended amount of time. The license can be taken out of the network, meaning it can be used when traveling or when located off-site. An RLM underscore roam environment variable is used to check out the license for a specified number of days. 
At the next checkout from the license server, the roaming license is extended to the current value of the RLM underscore roam variable. You can set RLM underscore roam to zero to use an existing roaming license if available. This will prevent an extension of the checkout from the license server. The license is automatically checked in once the requested number of days has expired. You can also check in the license early by setting RLM underscore roam to a negative number. After doing so, just simulate a monolithics model while connected to the license server. If the simulation is successful, the license is checked in. If you're interested in adding the roaming feature to your floating or cloud license, please contact sales at modelithics.com. Well, we hope you enjoyed our licensing video. Please contact us if you have any questions or if you need assistance.